second night was beautifully done. I think everybody got a fair share of appreciation. And so it, I mean, it leaves you feeling good about the whole thing. I didn't really get it at first. I thought, you know, my manager told me, I said, is that a big deal? You see, that is a very big deal. So I had it figure it out on my own. I, I'm not good in the world of awards, but it was pretty clear to me that this was seismic. I mean, this was one that I couldn't really ignore in any way, shape or form. There's no word for, no verb for a synonym for honors, to be honored, but I feel, I feel honored, yeah. Chapin and Emmy and I have worked together in various situations. Chapin and I have come to the point when our, lot, our voices have all gone down one note and then the note and a half, and hers is just this rich velvet thing that happens. And I love that they did Diamonds and Rust. I think the nicest thing about this whole four days has been meeting my fellow honorees, um, whom I didn't know. I mean, I knew Garth I'd met, and I know Trish, um, but really, it, puts us in such an, a frame of mind and a feeling of openness that it's just you become very chummy after a couple of days. By the end, we really felt like this kind of insane family. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the first of the honorees to mention the fact that and what everybody knows, we're coming out of the stone age of darkness, of you know, sort of like anti-culture. And so, you know, to come out with a bang like this is wonderful and it, and it opens you know, you see what might be possible in the future, instead of feeling as though nothing is possible in the future. It, it is, and all of these people bring their light and their music and their, you know, their souls for us to share. <laughs> <laughs>